Good day YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royal tea. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay, Meghan Markle and Harry are getting slammed for uh, their Instagram post celebrating uh, little Prince George's birthday. These photos were taken by Kate. Uh, this is showing uh, the soccer team that William, he's wearing the shirt representing the soccer team that William uh, supports. Uh, here's another picture. Really great pictures. Right, let's, let's read a little bit. And then we'll go into a little bit more discussion, and then we'll throw some cards. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry slammed for disrespectful birthday message to Prince George. Or for Prince George. Okay. They're again being called out for how they honored one of their fellow royals' birthdays on social media. Just over a month after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were slammed, for their cold birthday message to Prince William. This is a good place to show. Okay, so with Prince William, they did exactly the same thing. And let me show you. All right, so this is what um, they did for Prince William. Okay, this is each of, the, each of the royal families. They posted a photo. Okay, this is from Clarence House. Uh, Charles and Camilla, they posted Charles with... William is a baby. This is from the Queen. She posted uh, William and herself. He's looking very regal, very king-like. Okay, this is Prince Andrew's house. He posted William as a baby in a helicopter. Okay, and this is the post from Kate on uh, the Cambridge Royal. And this is William in Africa. Okay, so what did Meghan and Harry post? They replied, happy birthday, without any titles to this posting. So they have a whole PR team, but they never, they didn't bother to post a picture. But they have a whole PR team. Okay, and they, they knew, okay, they did the same thing here. They just replied. All right, so let's continue to read. Uh, this is George's sixth birthday. After Kensington Palace shared exclusive new photos taken by George's mom, Kate Middleton, in honor of his birthday, Harry and Meghan commented on one of the posts via the Sussex Royal Instagram account, writing, Happy Birthday. So the exact post is, Happy Birthday! Exclamation point, cake and a heart emoji, wishing you a very special day and lots of love! Exclamation point. So... What did they not do? They didn't name Prince George. They didn't use his title at all. You know, happy birthday, Prince George. He's a HRH, His Royal Highness Prince George, because he's in line to be king. They didn't use the title. They didn't name themselves. They didn't say Auntie, Auntie Meghan and, and Uncle Harry. Nothing. They just replied to the post. Okay. So... There's a lot of criticism for this, and I think there should be. And what I think is going on is this just keeps happening. Okay, Megan, I think Megan is controlling the Instagram account, and we're going to look at that. You know, does Harry have any input over this? Uh, and I think Megan is running a strategy. This is clearly a strategy, and Megan. Once she decides on a strategy, she's decided on an Instagram strategy, and she will not vary from that strategy. She keeps getting criticized for it, and she simply does not vary this strategy. No variation at all. No matter what anybody says, she's a wrecking ball. She just does. She makes up her own mind, and then she follows it. That's not... A terrible thing. I've been in leadership. Okay, you have to know who you are 
and what you're trying to accomplish and how you're going to accomplish it and you have to have some real strength. You have to show some, some real strength. A good example of this is Trump. A lot of people hate Trump. Okay, there's Trump derangement syndrome. But Trump knows who he is, he knows what he's trying to accomplish, and he goes, and he goes out and he does it. Okay, Megan has that. That's how you rise to the top. That's how you stay at the top. But Megan is a bit too inflexible. Okay, he's a bit too inflexible. And I think, yeah, anyway, all the Democratic candidates are showing themselves to be way too flexible. Uh, and it's just really unimpressive. It's beyond unimpressive. Okay, what is going on generally? Let's see if we can get any, suss out anything generally. What's going on generally with this Instagram business? Oh, Ten Hearts always shows up. Anything with Megan Ten Hearts is showing up. Ten Hearts and Dill. Okay, so what is going on in general? Mustard seed is messages. Hamster wheel is long term, over the very long term. Hamster wheel is also crossing the, the big water. So if you're going to take a really long trip or an overseas trip, you get hamster wheel. Every day, the same thing. The strategy never changes. Okay, the messages and the strategy just never change. And the foundation is emotionalism. Okay, uh, I'm a victim, love me. Okay, maybe she's trying to get attacked. Maybe she wants to be attacked so she can claim victim status. That is a definite possibility. Finger of God, outside emotional responses and outside close family relationships and all the people. Hmm. This makes me think that she is trying to be attacked, that she wants to be attacked so she can claim victim status. Does she want to be attacked so she can claim victim status? So there's value in doing a mini here, just as a preliminary. Is she, is she trying to be attacked so she can claim victim status? Because it's becoming very clear to me that she's running a strategy. And there's nothing wrong with strategies. Okay, and she has to know her own mind. But, you know, there's, there's parameters to everything. Is she trying to be attacked so she can claim victim status? Four clubs, three clubs, nine diamonds, six clubs, okay. Okay, so does she want to be attacked? Four leaf clover, very opportunistic. Three clubs, talking, chatting, Instagramming. Mercury, again, Mercury is uh, sending electronic messages. So talking and sending electronic messages very opportunistically. Seven, nine, 16, four spades. Okay, her motivations are secret. She's very, she's opportunistically sending messages and and establishing a foundation a history of this is how she does it this is what she's doing okay so she's establishing a pattern an mo a history this is just how she does it okay but she has secret motivations so the ten hearts very emotional she's trying to create an emotional connection with her audience that's a good idea. Does Harry have any input into what is posted on Instagram? Okay, because it's my feeling that she is in absolute control. Megan is in absolute control of this Instagram. Harry has nothing to say about it. I think that Harry doesn't get any input into this very, very important window to the world. And she has a whole PR staff. She has Sarah Latham. She has a whole PR staff under Sarah Latham who should be, who should be selecting a photo. Prince George's birthday is coming up. What are we going to post? Here's, here's four top options. Which one do you like the best? And we're going to post this message. Okay, Megan just says yes, no, yes, no. Okay, Megan and Harry. 
I don't think any of that is happening. That's extremely unwise because that's how they do it. That's how all the other royals are doing it. Okay, she still, Megan still has total uh, decisional authority over what goes out, but she's not using, it doesn't seem like she's using the process. So does Harry have any input or is he completely left out and kept in the dark? And he just, you know, oh well, there's the next Instagram post. And, you know, that's so interesting. What an interesting throw. All right, so we can see that. That's good. Does Harry have any input into these Instagrams? Big change in the direction by the woman. Oh, interesting. So the woman has created a huge change in their direction. 19, five clubs, two or more options, angel. Okay, this can be Archie. This is Megan. So Megan has created a huge change in their, in their future. Megan and the baby have created a huge change in their future. And, and put them on a completely new path. It's interesting that that's the answer. Okay, I think that he has no, no input at all. But the cards want to tell us that Megan, well, that is an answer. Megan is creating, is creating a new path for herself and Archie. Harry's not showing up here. Megan, so I'm asking, did Harry, does Harry have any input? Well, Harry's not showing up. Megan and Archie are showing up. And Megan is creating a huge change. And putting them on a completely different path. So Megan is completely controlling. Okay, so this is a big strategy. Is she trying to raise, is Megan trying to raise her status by never addressing anyone but herself by their royal title? Okay, so she gets addressed by her royal title, but she intentionally never addresses anyone else as royal highness, prince, princess, Never. Is she trying to raise her status? And she did this to the Queen of Tonga. She did not properly respect the Queen of Tonga. And that's one of her first royal acts. She and Harry got married. And then the first thing they did is went off to Australia and New Zealand and Tonga. And she did that with the Queen of Tonga. So is she trying to raise her status by never addressing anyone else by their title? Devil. Scapegoat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And here here's the the mother, Megan. <clears throat> okay, scapegoat outside from outside. Executioner does not consult anybody. Devil is entirely selfish. 24 plus 8 32, eight spades, scapegoat is emphasized. Scapegoat is an illness card and from outside. Devil is very selfish. So very selfishly, without consulting anybody, this is just Megan's decision. Okay, what this is saying to me is Megan is, by doing this, Megan is trying to put people down. She's trying to raise, I asked, is she trying to raise her status? Yes. She's trying to raise her status by putting everyone else down secretly. Okay, and she's not going to tell anybody this. So her strategy, uh, and all betas do this. All betas do this. Betas identify alphas and then they attack the alphas. Okay, they attack the stronger man, the stronger woman. And that's this strategy. It's a very, ne it's pure negativity attacking others who, who she perceives as greater than herself to raise her status. So it's a pure, it's a strategy of pure negativity. And people are really not liking this because Kate is not doing this to her. William is not doing this to her. Harry's not doing this to her. She's doing this to other people and other people, of course, don't like it. Okay, you can't be attacked by somebody and love them. They have a knife in their hand. She's going to stab you. Okay, is she trying to stick out and be different? 
Is that why she's doing this? Because it's a strategy. Is she just trying to be different? Always stick out. She's different. She's the special snowflake. She's the, she's the black sheep. She's different than everybody else, even though she's in the royal family and everything she has is from the royal family. She's different. Okay, and I really do think she's kind of playing that card because she's the diversity duchess and she's constantly saying how she's different and she's being discriminated against because she's different. Well, that is how she got there. She's different. Okay, she, you know, everybody loves that about her. And there's the ace of spades, that ace of diamonds that reveals all. Stick out. Different. Okay, Ace of Diamonds and Fox, she is, she want, she, Fox is a plotter, a schemer. So, and the Fox is a great business card. The Fox wants something. So she wants to be noticed in the family. So does she want to be different? Yes, she wants to be noticed. This is her strategy. Okay, Crossroads, two or more things, player, public image in everything different in everything. She wants to, yeah, she's intentionally trying to stick out. Okay, that's why in Hollywood, the ladies go to the, the award shows almost naked. And they, they want to, they, they, the dress always has to be different. That's why she spent a million dollars last year on wardrobe and she never wears the same thing twice. She always wants it to be different. She has to be different. It has to be different and special every time. She's really trying to stick out. Okay, and this is part of it. And, you know, uh, you can look at this and say, well, you know, but she, this is a birthday wish for Prince George. How does Prince George feel about that? I mean, he, she's using Prince George to stick out and you would be right. All right, so my battery went out. How does Kate, what is Kate's reaction to this latest Instagram post for her son? Okay, is she, well, you know, same thing. Just keeps happening. Uh, but, you know, she's going to be the queen consort. So how does Kate, what's Kate's reaction? Man, 10 diamonds. Wow. Wow. Okay, so no negativity here at all. Look at how negative this is. No negativity from Kate at all. She got the yes card, very key event. The inheritance is the royal family card. The most solid cards are both showing cross and inheritance. Okay, cross is permanent, inheritance is very solid and completion, and man, she is, man is not necessarily a man, it is male energy that is positive and proactive and moving forward with goals. She's just simply moving forward positively in life with her goals, 23, 32, eight spades. Ooh, scapegoat, cast out. Okay, Kate is just doing, she is, she could not be more solid. Okay, she's not emotionally upset about this. She's casting Megan out. Megan is out, eight spades. Okay, she's working a plan. Uh, there's a whole lot of different ways this could go. Uh, and one of the different ways this could go is, you know, Megan and Harry are just a wonderful asset. Okay. And we just, we love them. Harry is so popular and now he's even more popular with Megan. Well, that totally didn't happen. Okay. It went completely the other way. And then they kicked them out of Kensington Palace and then, and then they sent them to Frogmore. And then that's not far enough. Now they're sending them to Africa. Okay, so Kate is, could not be more solid. She is working her plan with William and with the Queen. You know, this is the entire royal family is working this plan. And Meghan is out. They're kicking Meghan out. 
Uh, and and I literally think Megan needs to turn this around, or Megan, I or I think divorce is going to be inevitable. Uh, I think we've covered a lot here. Let's let's kind of see what we've got because this is definitely a strategy. Okay, Megan's working. Megan's working a strategy, and this reveals a lot about that strategy, and that reveals a lot about that strategy. You know, Megan is working a strategy, and that's what we're seeing. Okay, and that's why she keeps doing this, and it's offending. It's working against, it's very negative against the rest of the royal family. It's pure negativity, and that's revealed here. Okay, let, let's review. So what is going on in general? These messages, this is, this is what's been decided. And it, every day it's the same thing. Megan has decided her strategy. In some senses that's good, but it has to be, it has to dovetail in with the royal family. You have to work with others. Megan doesn't work with others. She doesn't even work with Harry. And this is what's causing her so much problem. She, she's, She's tearing everyone down to lift herself up. And that's what people are noticing. And that's what people don't like. That has nothing to do with her gender or her race. It's, it's her behavior. Okay. So this is her constant strategy. And it's based on emotion. Which is so interesting. So I asked if she is trying to... Uh, is she trying to get attacked so that she can claim victim status? Because she does that a lot. Four, this adds four spades, 16, secret. Okay, what she's doing, she does in secret. She's not telling anybody. She's opportunistically Instagramming to the public and establishing a pattern. Okay, but it's based on emotions, not rationality. It is a strategy, but her strategy is based on emotions. So this can easily be her insecurities. Okay, her strategy is based on her insecurities. That's why it's negative. She, she's tearing people down to lift herself up. Okay, finger of God, get, getting input from the outside of the people. She's trying, yeah, she's trying to get everybody on her side. Okay, this is just a strategy that she never stops working. She decides her strategy and then she doesn't vary it. Is Harry having any input into anything appearing on Instagram? The woman and the baby are changing the future for Harry and Meghan, five clubs. They're changing the whole, their path in life, their entire destiny. Meghan is doing all of this. Meghan is changing the destiny. Okay, so Harry is not having any input. Okay, is she doing this to raise her status? Yes, she's, she, her strategy is to chop people down, executioner, very selfishly, and to give them a bad reputation. She is intentionally tearing others down to lift herself up. I'm, I'm shocked almost by how negative this shows okay pure selfishness not consulting anybody and it's it's very bad for everyone else okay if megan succeeds you're going to fail you can't both succeed your success is her failure her success equals your failure that's what she's doing and that's what people are reacting to that's what the royals are reacting to the royals are a team she's a team with harry she's also tearing harry down to lift herself up okay very bad very bad and that's what people are reacting to that is what is upsetting people about what they're seeing in megan's actions okay is she trying to stick out and be different all the time? She's wearing black to trooping. She's wearing a dark navy blue moo moo to trooping the color. Okay. And the Camilla and everyone else are wearing light summery dresses. Very appropriate. Well, she's wearing dark blue and a cape. Is she trying to, you know, she's dressed completely differently. 
Uh, is she trying to stick out? Yes, her strategy is to, to be noticed is to always stick out. She wants to be noticed and do something different every time. This is her public image. She wants to take a different road every time in everything for the public. Okay, so yes, her strategy is to be different and to stick out every time. That's what she's doing. That's why she won't follow the royal protocols. Okay, what is Kate's reaction to this? She's not upset. Megan is out, eight spades. She is completely united with the other royals, with Will, with the Queen. They are all united, and unfortunately, Harry is with Megan, so Harry's, whatever happens to Megan is going to happen to Harry and Archie. Archie is also stuck in that position, but I don't believe they have Archie with them. So, Megan is not rocked, I mean, I'm sorry, Kate is not upset by this at all. You know, unless the behavior changes, Megan is out. They're going, they're going to Africa and they're just going to push them as far away as possible and let them work it out. Okay, they're changing, they keep changing their circumstances. So, that's what's happening. Yeah, I find this, I find that very interesting. So Megan is definitely working a strategy, and it's very negative against everyone around her, and that's what, that's what is not working for her. She's tearing everyone down, and they're just not going to allow it. The royals are not going to allow it. They can't allow it. You can't allow someone to mistreat you. You can't. Okay, that's just, that's a maxim for everyone. Don't allow others to treat you poorly just so you can keep the relationship. That's your royalty today. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.